Hi peeps, I thought we would do a little witchy chat while I clear my deck. I just need to clear my throat for a sec as well. <coughs> Here we go. Yeah, so I just felt like being a little chatty while I clear my deck. Um, October was a month of a lot of unexpected occurrences for me personally, endings and loss. And uh, so I had to spend a little less time on the channel than I like to and than I typically do. If you're wondering what I'm doing right now, guys, I'm going to move the camera down for you gently. I'm just clearing my little deck here. My beloved deck, my favorite deck. As you guys know, I always encourage you to go back to those, you know, tried and true decks in those times where we really feel like we need support on our spiritual path or guidance and coping with, you know, loss or endings or knowing that we need to move in a new direction as well, you know, feeling that call, feeling that prompt and what are the choices we make from that place, right? When we need that direction and guidance, going back to the tried and trues really does make a huge, huge difference. So putting the deck back together. Working a little clearing magic here. I thought I would talk a little bit about getting back into alignment in this video. So these experiences of loss, of transition, of mourning, I'm just going to adjust this a little bit, guys. Um, you know, there can be times when we're moving through that, where we can feel like we get out of alignment with our spiritual path. And in those moments, well, I, I wanna say this first, sometimes we need periods of rest where, where we need to say no to, you know, being crazy with our, uh, not crazy, but being, you know, maybe over the top with a really dedicated practice um, there are times where we need rest from that. You know, the Hermit card, the Four of Swords, that type of energy also lets us know that there are times where we have to lie follow. Even the um, Seven of Pentacles or the Seven of Souls is a really powerful card for that. So first of all, I think when, it, when you're feeling the call or the prompt after a period of transition or of mourning or of loss, Getting back into alignment, the first piece is very much, I want to encourage you <laughs> to not um, be hard on yourself. Perhaps if you haven't done daily draws in a couple weeks or you haven't had a dedicated practice that you typically would be embracing and focusing on, um, you know, moving, moving through your regular day, right? or life in a normal pattern for yourself, right? So if during that time of transition or of mourning, going within that death card energy, you've let aspects of your practice fall to the wayside, the way to step back into a healthy spiritual practice for yourself is not to be hard on yourself or judgmental about the fact that you've fallen off the wagon of daily draws or whatever your regular practice looks like. I think when we are harder on ourselves about those things, we only delay moving forward into a healthier direction for ourselves, right? And as I just said, those times of lying fallow, of, of you know, going underground, of being quiet and still, they are necessary on our journey. And a lot of crone energy is embracing and knowing those times on the path. So the first thing I wanna say when it comes to getting back into alignment with your practices, don't be hard on yourself for falling off that wagon. It was necessary, it served a purpose. Give yourself some time to reflect on what you came to understand while you were stepping away from your regular practice. And then, of course, the other piece that I'm going to recommend, as I always will, um, is to allow yourself to step into practice that resonates with getting back on track, as it were. So don't, you know, 
kind of go all the way to the other side of the spectrum there <laughs> where, well, now I'm getting back on track. So I'm going to, you know, do a daily spread every day and do, and do a daily draw and meditate with my guides and engage in ritual and, 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 um, that's going to lead to burnout right away. And if you're currently getting yourself and your emotions and your body and your being back into a space of safety after a time of transition, um, it's not really best to go over the top with like an unrealistic expectation for yourself. So give yourself a break and come back to the practice first and foremost as you're getting yourself back on track that really resonates and helps you to feel really connected to your guides, to deity, to the divine, whatever you would like to call that energy. Now, personally for myself, that's actually taking a walk in the woods or by the ocean. Um, that's actually where, that's like a core practice of mine that I've had my entire life and that really brings me back into alignment. So when you're getting yourself back on track, incorporate one of those practices that's really nurturing and really helps you to feel connected on your path. And don't, you know, don't add three of those practices on. Explore that one practice that really helps you to feel anchored into your path. So I really encourage you to bring that one practice in, whether that is a walk in nature or sitting in front of your altar, or if it's a daily draw and journaling, allow that to nurture you and to help you remember how it feels when you experience connection within your spiritual practice with the divine. Give yourself some space there. Maybe it's a day, maybe it's a few days, maybe it's a couple weeks. Like allow yourself to be in that space for the amount of time that that feels right for you. And then add on the next level that feels um, inspiring and encouraging for you. So like for me, then I would add back in my daily draws, right? Um, oh, what's going on with my hair there? <laughs> I would add back in my daily draws. And then I would add back in my meditation practices with my goddesses and my gods. And then I would add back in ritual when that felt right, right? So it's like baby steps along getting back into your regular practice. There's this beauty of having also curated and created a regular practice. Um, there's a safety within that of knowing you can always return to it as well. So you don't have to do all the things all at once, but just know that you're slowly returning to the practice that nurtures you in general. The other thing that I would say about getting back into alignment is also adding something new. Um, maybe you're going to explore a new area of research within your spiritual path um, or bring in something that inspires you that you could do daily or a couple times a week. Bring something new and fresh in as well that's going to feel inspirational and creative when you are ready. Again, because sometimes when we're getting back into alignment, we can get exhausted easily. It's like the body is recalibrating to catch up with the energetic shift that's happened within you. So don't push this here, but allow yourself to explore a new aspect of practice. Maybe you're going to work with a brand new deck or a new divination system. Or like for me right now, I've picked up two um, astrology workbooks that are um, outside of my tarot wheelhouse with astrology that are going to kind of push me a little bit. Um, in, a, in a way that feels inspiring and exciting. So give yourself something like that, you know, something, whatever that is personally for you, that's going to feel inspiring, exciting, and that's going to make you want to devote a little, a little bit of time in your day or your week to connect spiritually in that way. And of course, the, the next thing that I would really encourage you to do is to connect with your guides, connect with deity. Um, now you can do that, of course, as always through guided journey, as I recommend and teach and offer in my own work um, as a priestess. But I also find that daily communication, real like just conversation while you're washing the dishes or I don't know, watching TV or going for that walk in the woods with deity and your guides, that's something that can really help you to process and to understand the shift and the transition that you've just had. Um, you know, we like to think about growth as 
this exciting fool card energy of like jumping off the cliff and taking that leap of faith, right? But um, spiritual evolution, our soul's evolution also happens uh, through the death card and through the judgment card. Um, and those experiences may not always feel as freeing, but they do signal a time of transition, of growth, and of evolution. So there can be a softer way, a quieter way that we also look at how that's happened, perhaps especially when it's involved pain or loss um, or endings, right? So giving yourself time for reflection, taking baby steps back into practice, and letting yourself try something new that excites you are all ways that you can step back into alignment. But I wanted to make a little video about that. Again, I know I've been talking about that a lot this year, but um, many of you have reached out and said that you're also ex just experiencing either loss or endings or a feeling of being really stuck and not not sure how to, how to work with that. So I just wanna offer my thoughts on that and what I found to be helpful personally for myself um, with that. Now, of course, as we began this conversation, I was clearing my beloved tarot deck, and I would say you might find that an energetic clearing or cord cutting ceremony is also helpful for yourself. So, um, and you can do plenty of research online. I think I have videos on the channel on that as well, on how you can offer yourself that, but. Sometimes when we've had that shift for ourselves, um, an energetic clearing of house, and I mean that metaphorically and also literally, can make a really big difference. So those are some of my thoughts on getting back into alignment on our spiritual path. Welcome to the month of November. Um, if you observe and honor Dia de los Muertos, um, I hope you are enjoying this day of connection with the ancestors and of prayer and ritual. And as always, I am sending you so much love and many blessings, and I will see you in the next video.